Hello, today we are going to look into obstacles that could prevent success. Everyone wishes to be successful. No one sets a goal with the intention of failing. But barriers do occasionally obstruct our progress. Obstacles, on the other hand, need merely slow us down. They don't have to mean failure. And I'm going to discuss with you seven roadblocks to success. And again, I'll have to give you some suggestions for overcoming them. Lack of focus. Another big roadblock to success is our failure to adequately focus all of our energies on a single topic. Multitasking and a slew of other attractive but ineffective distractions have proliferated in modern life, stealing our attention. As a result, we frequently suffer simply due to a lack of discipline and focus rather than focusing on the completion of a single project we hop from one to the next as we please if you ask me that is one of the most significant barriers to success another one is procrastination procrastination is the most significant barrier to your achievement those who postpone frequently never succeed over time and worse there is cumulative effect. Another one is trying to please everyone. In many circumstances, the problem isn't so much with deciding what to do as it is with deciding what not to do. Rather, the challenge is deciding what not to do. We frequently accept jobs and requests without properly screening them. We are hopefully lost in getting our priorities straight if we don't filter jobs by urgency and importance. As a result, we take assignments that may or may not contribute to our projects. In the long term, these activities waste time that they may be better spent pursuing our objectives. Another one is fear of success, fear of success or failure. Some people lack the guts to try out their desire because they are afraid of the prospective outcome, whether failure or success. Recognize your fears and begin to conquer them as the first step towards achievement. Another one is too many distractions. Allowing our time, effort and energy to be diverted from our goals is common and self-destructive. Do you realize how many hours a year, that is 365, you could spend on social media for no cost? If you spend one hour a day on it for no reason, consider what you could accomplish if you spent half of your social media time reading, running, or doing whatever else you enjoy. A time-consuming distraction like social media is one example. But what about more abstract distractions like desire, envy, or even doubt? Climbing your own mountain isn't simple, but staying focused on the trail is the only way to get to the top. Another one is perfectionism. Perfectionism. You finish your project, but something about it doesn't feel quite right. Then you feather with it a little more and you start to wonder what else is, isn't working. You don't want to share anything unless you are certain it's perfect. You must learn to take chances. It's fine to put it out there. Nothing is ever completely perfect. It's never too late to get better. You won't know what modifications are required until you publish your work for all to view. Get to work on your next project once it is out there. Another one that is disturbing so many people now is mental fatigue. Depression is a serious problem that affects people all 
across the country and the world, it makes it difficult for many to get out of bed in the morning. It inhabits people from pursuing goals that are important to them. It affects people of all ages and genders. People who suffer from depression are well aware of how crippled it can be. It can make people feel well down as if they have no desire to move forward in life. An attitude can help, but if it doesn't and you are depressed on a regular basis, you should seek professional counseling from your doctor. It's not something to take lightly. Another one is be close to God. Be close to God and be prayerful and ask God always to help you. When God is in control of your life, there is nothing you want to achieve you cannot achieve because God is there showing you the way, directing you on what to do. Anything you want to do without God, it will not happen. Let God be number one in your life. Let God be everything for you so that you will succeed. And whenever you want to do anything, project or any business or anything, contact God through prayer. Prayer helps. Without God, there is no life. No God, no life. So just stand on the way of serving God, knowing God truly. Come to Jesus Christ. He will make everything right for you. And I pray that God will continue to bless you, guide you, protect you, and show you the way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.